Hey guys, I just wanted to come on here and give you a quick, quick word. Um, the Holy Spirit has been giving me some revelation lately and he wanted me to warn you guys about the tactics of the enemy. The Lord has already confirmed that you are out of your wilderness season. You've come out of a very dark place and a season of drought. The Lord has already delivered you out of that and the fruits of his word has harvested in your life already. The Lord has blessed many of you with promotions, marriages, engagements, financial breakthroughs, so on and so forth. Let me tell you about the tactics of the enemy. So what he's been trying to do is send you attacks through dreams, maybe using your closest friends and family, co-workers to come against you, um, all types of things around you, whether it's electronics, your washer and dryer going out, little things that he's using to attack you because he can't do anything to you physically. He cannot touch you. He cannot afflict you. So all he can do is disturb the things around you to make you feel like you're being afflicted. So with all these fake afflictions, it's causing you a lot of warfare, heavy warfare. It's making you feel like you're backtracking. You're back in the wilderness season. The enemy is trying to stir up warfare in the form of fear, depression, drama, causing old fears from the past to stir up and make you think you have not been delivered out of the wilderness season and into your promised land. This way, you won't appreciate and acknowledge the blessings that has already taken place in your life and the growth and how far you've actually come. If you really sit back and think about it, God's promises are truly coming to pass. If the enemy can continuously attempt to inflict you or send mental spiritual disturbances, this will disrupt your spirit, causing you to mope, doubt, and trick you into believing you're still in the wilderness season. The devil is a liar, guys, okay? He can't inflict you, so he just, you know, he can't inflict you, so he wants you to inflict yourself. And how do you do that? By coming into agreement with his lies. This way, they have legal access to inflict you. If you go on saying, I'm depressed, I don't want to live anymore, and all these things that the enemy wants you to feel by attacking your environment, by putting you through this warfare, if you come into agreement with these emotions, then they can hold that against you. But what God wants you to know right now in this moment is to hold on to his words, hold on to his promises, hold on to his truth. What he has told you is to come who he told you you are in the kingdom, what he has anointed you to do in this season. That's the only truth that he wants you to pay attention to right now and to believe. OK, this is your weapon. This is how you fight back faith believing in everything that he told you okay this is not to say stop praying and start sleeping on the enemy and his devices no this is just saying no matter what it feels or looks like hold on to what god says is true that is the true reality of your circumstances okay i'm just going to read a scripture john 4 and 4 nlt um, but you belong to God, my dear children. You have already won a victory over those people because the spirit who lives in you is greater than the spirit who lives in the world. Amen. All right, guys, I just wanted to give you that word. OK, and I pray that it blessed you. I hope you guys have a good night or day and I love you all. God loves you even more. OK, talk soon. Bye bye.